Hey guys, Sijing Mei here with my husband Scott. Hello everybody. And I'm going to do, we're going to do the husband interview just to kind of see how much he pays attention when I talk about cross stitch or when he watches my videos. He probably skim through my videos. We'll find out. The highlights. We'll find out. Anyway, second. there are 23 questions. And then I added five at the end that are kind of more personal questions that I think that he'll get right because some of these I know he won't get right because some of them I don't use the terms that often. So let's just get in. What is floss? Floss. The definition of floss is... <laughs> the definition of uh, floss. Say the word, spell it, then say Floss it. is the, the thread that you use to cross stitch with? Yes. No, okay. What is floss tube? Floss tube, tube, floss tube is, uh, is, is it, it's just, you, it's just YouTube, it's just YouTube. It is just YouTube, but why do we call it YouTube? YouTube with, with nothing but for cross stitchers, cross stitchers on YouTube. It's like a, it's like a community, there so you cross stitchers on YouTube. You finished my sentence. Um, what is a needle minder? Needle miners are the little magnets that you put your needles on. You don't lose them. You stick it to the refrigerator or wherever. <laughs> stick the needles to the refrigerator. It's on a magnet. You can, you can, you can put it on whatever. Put it in. Yeah, it's on a magnet. What is a UFO? A UFO? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Pertaining to the cross stitch or, like, or just, just a what? UFO in general? What An is a unidentified UFO? flying object. I don't know. <laughs> Um, could be a flying object because I guess I could throw it. A UFO. Oh, wow. I don't know. I've never heard anybody use. Never heard you use the word UFO. I don't have a lot of them. I have two of them. Maybe three. Let's come back to that one. This is past. I just know the answer. It's an unfinished object. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's one that like that I decide sense. not to not to do anymore. Gotcha. So I guess it could be an unidentified flying object. Because usually it's something that you've gotten frustrated with and you don't do it anymore, so you throw it. So. Gotcha. Um, what is a whip? Whips are <laughs> works in progress. Yes. Is a whip. It is. How many do I have? Like ten. Ten whips. I'm impressed. I think I have like nine. Do you really? I'll, <laughs> I'll just guess. <laughs> what is an FFO? FFO is a something object. Floss tube knows it. Uh, finished, first finished. Close, not really. I, I don't know. Partial credit. Fully finished. Fully, there you go. So like when it's framed or when it's, it's there's a finish, which is just a piece that's finished. Now who actually comes up with these these acronyms or do you guys just kind of everybody everybody just, just kind of knows what they are okay well no like somebody will say something i don't know like that one i don't remember who came up with that one but it was like i got i have a fully finished object hey instead of saying this three thousand times we'll just call it an gotcha. what is a sow <laughs> what is a sow a pig <laughs> no not a sow a sow. <laughs> sow. S A L. Okay. Yes. S A L is a. I'm southern. You should understand my accent by now. <laughs> I have no clue. I have no clue what a sow is. I'm sorry. I know I've mentioned that a lot on my videos. It's another acronym, so it stands for something. Sow. S A L. Wow, I have no idea. It's a stitch along. Oh, a, st a stitch along, okay. <laughs> wow, I'm totally on the spot here in front of everybody. What, what is a stitchy spot? A stitchy spot? That's, uh -huh. that's, for, that's, for your, that's just your spot. Yeah. Where are Yeah, we? you have several stitchy <laughs> spots around the house. There's like <laughs> the living room couch over there, and you got one in a bedroom, and you got your, your recliner over there. So. <laughs> You're right. All right, you named off all my stitchy spots. I'm impressed. <laughs> what is frogging? <laughs> frogging. <laughs> if I had to guess what frogging was. <laughs> I 
I have no idea. I don't know. Really? No clue? It's ripping out stitches. Okay. Do you want to know why it's called frogging? Sure. Because you you rip it out, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> what is Ada? Ada is a type of fabric. Yes. Good. What is a skein? A skein? Mm-hmm. A skein? Is that the little ruler, is that the ruler thing that you used to measure the... Is that what you call a skein? No. <laughs> this, this, this is totally not mine. It's fine. Nobody's going to look at this. Okay. It is like the... <clears throat> when you buy the floss, All right. it comes wrapped together. It's the skein of floss. It's like the unit in which, I guess, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a skein of floss. Like if you went to Michael's and picked up a, a number, a thing of floss for me, it would be called a skein of floss. Okay. What is a haul? A haul is is that your collect is your collection of stuff like your haul? Close. Right. Is it the collection I already have, or is it? It's, it's the stuff you're working on at the time. No, it's a haul you buy. It's the stuff I've bought. Like I've got a haul this month. It's the haul of stuff okay. I purchased. Gotcha. What I is, do pay attention, I promise. <laughs> I really do. Clearly, it's obvious. What is a stash? Your stash, your, okay, your stash <laughs> is is your collection. Right. What is even weave? Even weave. This is kind of a trick question. Is that where all the stitches are even? Together? Yes, nice, it, yeah. good. It's a type of fabric. It Ada is technically even weave because all of the squares are supposed to be the same size. So all of your stitches will come out the same. Come so out I'll even. give you I'll give you credit for that one. So that's what you got. Floss, floss G, needle minder. Did you get whip? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I actually got whip. Works in progress, yeah. I got, I got whips. Okay, whip. <laughs> you got whips. <laughs> um, you got stitchy spot. You got Ada. You got stash. And you got even weight. So that's what? Eight? What out, are out of how many? 20, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You're, you're, okay. more, you're better than half. What are orcs? Orcs? No. Orts. Orts. <laughs> Orts. Wow. Wow, you said you have a different question. Wow. I don't, I don't wow. know. <laughs> I don't know. I have no clue what an ort is. Old ready thread. Okay. It's the little jar of ends that I keep. Okay, I have seen, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> the size one that are stuck to your uniform and car's yeah. head. What is railroading? Railroading is when, is that where you stitch the edge of the fabric and it just stops? No. Okay. okay. It's where you come down through your floss in order to make your stitches lay flatter. Okay. Yeah, I know you're not going to know this one. I don't even want to ask you. What is a biscornu? I've never even talked about one of these because I've never made one. Biscornu? It's a pin cushion that you hand sew. Okay. Yeah, I need to get that one. What is Crick? Krennic? Krennic's a type of fabric, also. No. It? No. <laughs> it's a type of floss, but a certain kind of floss. Krennic. Krennic is the... Okay, it's the floss. It's got the metallic color in it. Yes. Okay. I have. Okay. I have heard you use that word. I'm going to ask this Several. one as it's written. I know you won't get it as it's written, because I don't refer it to this way. So then I'll ask you how I refer, refer it to. What is HPI? Yeah. When I say my fabric is a certain count, what does that mean? Like if I say I, this a is a thread count, that's, that's what I, isn't that like the, uh, is that the, is that the number of stitches mm -hmm. in a in hundred, well, I, I don't know. In an inch. In an inch. In an inch. There you go. Gotcha. What is a key snap? snaps the little square things that snap together yes make the frames so now you've gotten critic 
And Who came Kusnap. up with these questions? That's what I want to know. Was it you? No. So you're 10 out of 20. So you're still at, okay. you're still at half. What is a grime guard? Grime guard? Mm -hmm. That's the little, isn't that the cloth thing that goes around the Q-snap? Yes. All right. You're 11. Good job. What is a haid? Haid? H-A-E-D. Never done one of these. I don't, I don't know. It's a certain designer who does full coverage projects and they're very well known. Okay. I've never done one, so. What is parking? And don't say the thing that I'm really bad at. <laughs> parking? <laughs> parking. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't do this either. So I, some of these I don't do. So I, it's where it's a way a method of letting your strings, your floss, dangle from your fabric. But I stitch. How do I stitch? That doesn't make any sense. Like I don't stitch that way. I stitch cross country, which means I take one color and stitch all the way through that area or until the thread ends. But parking is a method that you park your thread. Okay, so I feel like you should get these because these are more specific to me than to okay. the cross stitch. What is the longest whip that I've worked on? The longest whip? Probably your Starry Night. Yes. This, which I wish you would finish because I want to see what that looks like. Frame. But <laughs> you keep putting it off for some reason. I put it off. I just stitch one of the things. <laughs> what is your favorite finish that I have done? Uh, probably that. I mean, I like, I like that one. <laughs> I mean, of course you can't say it, but... <laughs> that, uh... What is that called? Ah. Oh. I have, I have it's no idea. It's a type of stitching. I, I don't know. I'll give you a hint. What color is it? Black. Black. <laughs> Black work. Black work, yeah. <laughs> Um, what is your favorite of my current work whips? Uh, well, I really, I'm really liking the little towels you're doing, like with the different month, the months on them. Can you do those? Yeah. Anyway. Can you name all my whips? This is a springs on you question. It just popped into my head. I don't know if I want you to name them all because I don't know if I want you to know. Oh, there's there's absolutely no way I can name everything you're working on. I don't know. Name some of the ones that you know. Starry night. You're working on the starry night. You're working on the uh, say needle. Does it say needle miner on it? Needle worker. Needle worker. Yeah, not needle miner. Needle worker. Um, of course, the tie. You're working on the different months. You're working on. So I'm surprised you haven't named. I don't know. Like that's the thing. Like there's one I'm stitching specifically for you. Oh, the uh, 99 bottles. <laughs> yeah, the 99 bottles. I take it back. That's my that's my favorite. <laughs> that, that, that's my favorite Good project color. working on. Um, how do I store my floss? And those little tup couple not Tupperware, but uh, <laughs> Tupperware. The little boxes, man. What do you call them? <laughs> that was about three years ago. <laughs> I still in the baggies now in that big drawer <laughs> over there that you helped me put together. I'm horrible at this. <laughs> um, what did you think when I first started or decided to do a floss tube? Floss Channel. tube? I thought it was a cool idea because I mean, you get, I mean, honestly, there's nobody in our town that really likes to do this. At the time, we didn't think there was, so. It was a cool way to meet new people and talk to people about your oh, your interests. And I thought it was a dumb idea. I thought it was totally dumb. You can be I honest. Thought, I thought it was a dumb idea. It was ridiculous, and nobody was going to care. You know, nobody's going to care about this. But but you encouraged I was completely, me anyway. I was completely wrong. There's you encouraged me. Anyway. Thousands of people that obviously love doing this. And how long? Which I think is awesome. And how long now? Do you think it's a dumb idea? No, I don't at all. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a cool idea. I can start a YouTube channel. Actually, see, Emily's husband said the same thing. He wanted to be on Floss Tube. His name is Jimmy Floss Tube now. So maybe you and he can start the husbands of Floss Tube. Maybe. Yeah. 
That was a very shake movie. We'll see. <laughs> and how long have I been doing my floss tube? Have you been doing, doing floss tube for two years? Three. Three years. My first, I looked this up. Wow. My first video was. <laughs> wow. Three years. Like the fireworks. Ooh. <laughs> ah. I started. I put my first flashy video up April the sixth of two thousand thirteen. So I've had several floss floss of what's the name, what we call it floss tube anniversaries. Well, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for being such a willing partner. Sorry, I didn't, sorry, I didn't know more well, answers. Let's see, how many did you get? You got floss, floss tube, needle minder, whip, stitchy spot, Ada, stash, even weave, krennic. You kind of got holes per inch. I'll give you partial credit for that one. Inch, that was really southern. Q snap, ground guard. So you got like over half of them. And then you got most of my personal ones that I knew you would get. Why didn't you finish your project? That you, you have a UFO. I do have an unfinished. Why did you not even finish that? I'm still working on it, man. And when, and when I do finish it. Are you into your videos? Yes. Show you're finished? I will. <laughs> when I finally finish my project, I will make my, make my first video. You can just make it on my channel. Okay. Too. Okay. But um, some of you guys, I'm sure, have heard the intro on the video, and he's the one that wrote the intro and played it for me. So he does contribute to Floss Tube just in his own little way. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really it for now. Um, I will link back to I don't I'll link back to Emily's video because I don't remember who the first one to do the video was, and I will try to post the questions down in the drop box below. That way, if any of you want to do a tag with the important people in your life. Thanks yes. for watching.